Hey everyone, today we'll be learning how to use the 3D text tool on Google SketchUp. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to need a large set of tool palettes. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we're going to have to go up here to the SketchUp bar and we're going to have to click view. Once you click on that, a whole bunch of options should show up. So we're just going to hover over tool palettes up here and we are going to the right and we're going to click the large tool set. And what this does is that it just gives you a broader amount of tools that you can use for your Google SketchUp. So today we'll be clicking on the little A logo right here. This is 3D text tool. So let's go ahead and click on that. Once you click on the 3D text tool, a box should show up with a text box in the middle. So this text box here is for you to enter your text. So I'm just going to give you an example here. I'm going to type A. B, C. And then now we go down below to the settings and configuration. So we have our align here. This lets you align your text in the left, center, or right. So I'm just going to leave it at the left. And over here we have our different varieties of fonts. You can choose whichever font you want to customize your text. So I'm just going to go for this one right here. So once you're done with your fonts, you exit out. And then down here we have filled, extruded, checked out. So filled, what this means is that whenever you place your 3D text down onto the CAD, your text is going to be filled, which means it's going to have a filling in the text. If you don't want it to be filled, you don't check the box. And basically the inside of your text will be clear and the rest will be outlined. So I'm just going to click filled right here. And I'm also going to check extruded because uh, making your text extruded basically makes it 3D. And over here is an option for how much you want to extrude your text. So we have it at 4 inches here. And I'm just going to leave it like that. After I'm done with all these settings, I'm going to click place. As you can see, we have my text right here. And I can choose exactly where to put it. Well, that's it, guys. It truly is that simple. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the 3D text tool on Google SketchUp, and thank you for watching my video.